Can you do scientific testing on yourself? I worked in labs for a long time and mm -hmm. we worked on fruit flies for the very good reason that we were removing brains from individuals and doing that on humans is generally considered poor form. You know, Round it's, upon, you could it's say. not okay. There's very, very strict ethical guidelines with research. But with humans and going into drug trials, that becomes a much more difficult prospect. So you have mm. to have done loads of trials on animal models or cell models beforehand. There's a loophole and it's if it's on yourself. That's why this question is a good question. You can test on yourself all you want. That's fine. You can just do that. Now- well, Yeah, who'd stop you? Yeah, exactly. You can just do stuff. It's your own decision. As long as you're what you're testing yourself with is legal, go nuts. You can't do this at scale. You can't test yourself like as a hundred different individuals or a thousand or whatever you need. But there have been cases where a person has won a Nobel Prize for testing on himself. Barry Marshall. Good name. And he won the Nobel Prize for medicine in 2005. What causes ulcers? You know, stomach ulcers. It's a bacterial infection in your stomach line. It's called, but they said, there's no way it can just be stress. It has to be bacteria as well. And he dosed himself with the bacteria, gave himself stomach ulcers, and oh then took God. really powerful antibiotics and they went away. It is really smart, but it also could be the most stupid thing going. Oh, I'm just giving myself stomach ulcers. Yeah, he was so confident that it, it would work. And it did. This changed medical sort of opinion of how to deal with stomach ulcers. So that no one has an ulcer anymore. No, I was going to say. Yeah. So, and you that's because of him, really. Relics. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So play. He, he got this definitively down. You don't believe stuff in science. It's proven. That's how it you works. Want, so as a scientist, would you say you want to be wrong to an Oh, extent? yeah, yeah. There's nothing, there is nothing better than realizing we've been wrong on a fundamental level if it means that we can understand something better. But this guy felt sure enough that he was willing mm. to give himself a stomach ulcer just to prove himself right. Well, and he was right. Barry Marshall, what a man. Shout out to him if he's listening.